right guys welcome to the channel bullets garage coming at you and today we are headed out to florida excuse me we're going to orlando florida to go to disney world and many of you that watch my channel know that i don't have kids so if you ask yourself why am i going to florida with my wife hmm it's a good question it's not by my choice i don't want to go i have no interest in it but we are doing it for the kids so my wife's sister has to be kids there's one of them right now adrian what's up nice oh. nice hat he is going to be my pretend son for the next four days right you're gonna be a good son that's right that's what i thought i will introduce you to my pretend daughter for the vacation trip and my other one so this is gonna be interesting guys that's for sure and for those of you that don't know i hate flying totally hate flying gets me nervous gets me stressed out gets me anxious so we'll see how this goes but hopefully fingers crossed we're gonna be good to go positive thinking we'll get there in safe and sound in two and a half hours and we'll be in sunny florida enjoying the heat get a drink in my hand and we're gonna be good to go Another helpful hint guys, if you're flying on an airplane and you don't want to hear the sound of the, the jet noise and the cabin noise, this is what you need to get yourself. You need to get yourself some Bose headphones. These bad boys will cancel out any noise and you can just focus in on your TV show or music that you're going to listen to. Great help. Strongly advised. You guys met Mickey Mouse. Here's his Hi. oldest sister, Hi. Vanessa. She is going to be my pretend daughter for this trip. So you have to be good or else we're going to have to discipline you. And you know how I go with discipline. I'm going to do the Polish way with the belt. So you're going to be good? Yep. All right, guys. This is, the, this is the trip right here. We got the oldest daughter, the youngest daughter. There she at. She went in Avian. There's my wife. That's grandpa and grandma. Okay, so this is going to be a hell of an interesting trip to deal with these people. So wish us luck. Wish us luck. Yeah. Wish us luck. There's my wife yelling at her dad because he's uh, acting a fool. Where's the baby? Where's the baby at? Look how cute she is. Hi, Deeds. All right. See you guys on the way. So, we are on the plane. <clears throat> we are on the plane, guys. <clears throat> I always need a window seat because if I don't have a window seat, forget it. I can't go nowhere without a window seat. It's a little toasty on this airplane right now, which is not nice. I got the vents so, open, so but hopefully it cools off a little bit. We'll see. We'll see you back taking All right, guys, we have made it. We have landed, and as always, we got the young ones here with me because they know what they're doing. But back there is somewhere the grandparents that are dragging. And uh, that's what happens when you're a pretend father and traveling with family. It's hey, just me and my wife. We'll be up and out of here already. But nope, we gotta wait. We gotta wait for these guys. Oh, yeah, I'm ready. So, yeah, yeah, guys, so we have landed. And of course, we don't have the GSF here, so we can't be cruising in that. We're gonna be renting from Alamo. And it's gonna be something you'll never expect. All right, guys, we have arrived none other than Walmart. We gotta get some goods, but we're not driving the GSF. This is what we're driving. Dodge Grand Caravan, red. There's a crazy old man laughing. There, there he is, right there. Crazy old man. All right, guys, happy Sunday. We are off to Disney World. World or Disneyland? Disney World. Disney World. All right, we're off to Disney World. Got my pretend children all walking behind me. The little one is a little sick, right, Didi? You little sick? Yeah, you got a little fever, whatnot. 
So uh, that's gonna be a fun day. I got the most important essential. I got my fan with a little water spray to survive this Florida heat. And let me give you a walk around of our caravan that we're driving in because this thing is just phenomenal. I mean, you got room on top of room, on top of room, on top of room to put everything in here, okay? <coughs> Look at this burgundy color. I mean, it is just top notch right here. All right, we'll see you guys in the park. <laughs>
as you can see, it's pouring rain. And I'm pretty tall right now because I am standing on top of a handicapped man and a woman so my shoes don't get wet. And that's how we do from Chicago. It's pouring buckets, guys. Yeah, we got our scooter. We're standing on the scooter here. But, uh, we got a river here in Disney World. I prefer not to get wet. The white bee is over there, hiding. Baba over here, dead off. Kids ran away somewhere in there. Guys, let me give you my finishing thoughts at the end of day one in uh, Disney World. One thing it made me realize is I do not want to have children. Selfish, I know, but this is like, this is too much work, man. I mean, these kids ain't mine and they're draining me, carrying the little one and all the rides. My back is hurting. Call me selfish, but kids ain't for me. Uh, Disney World. Magic Kingdom is nice. I'll you know, recommend coming see it once, especially if you got kids, because they will love it. But as an adult, to me, does nothing really for me. But it's a good experience with the wifey and the three terrorists. The last one's not here; she's getting food. But yeah, fun, fun. Day two tomorrow. I don't know. I probably won't record, record day two. Because it's, uh, it's too much hassle, but uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. We got a lot of rain, we got a lot of heat, we got a lot of rides, and we had a lot of fun. See you guys in the next video. And when she enters with all shout, surprise! Everyone stay quiet. When I say now, you'll shout surprise. Lumiere. The lights, please. But of course. <sighs> well, where are you, mademoiselle? Now.
ending our experience here at Disney World on day one with the fireworks, which we stayed for. Uh, there's people behind us. There's people in front of us. We're never going to leave this place on time. I know we're tired. Our feet hurt. But that's the Disney World experience, right? When you have no kids. My voice is gone. All right, without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to the castle. We're going to see some fireworks. Enjoy, guys. See you on the next video.
having a best friend by your side opens up a whole new world of possibilities. sorcery do we have here oh the princess getting more presents that she don't need from this cripple what is that deeds yes. deeds what oh my is God. that Take a look go show her bell well you look fantastic you gotta go in the bathroom so we can see the mirror let's go all i'm trying to do here today and enjoy myself, eat a sandwich. But instead, I'm stuck pushing around this goddamn cart that doesn't even belong to any of my children. Whose idea of fun is this? Walking around with a cart with just bags hanging off, shits on top of shit. I like to travel light. I don't want anything. My phone, my wallet, chapstick, good to go. But no. I got a whole village to feed here, and they need a whole nother village of stuff. Look at that. Bag, bag, more bags, more bags, 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 bags on top of bags. Child number one, are you having a great time? Say it louder to the camera so they can hear. Yes. Great. Child number two, what about you? Are you having a fantastic time in Disney World? Yeah. Say it to the camera. Yeah. Okay, thanks, brah. 
here I am still pushing this damn cart. Oh, this here is the most exciting part of my uh, my day here. When the cripples and the misfits try to decide what they want to do next. And it's always fun. So here we are. So we're driving, honey. And he's driving a caravan. How do you feel being a dad driving a van? Did you ever think you'll ever drive a van? It's alive, guys. And it's a red maroon one. I Just gotta, like... I gotta sell my Lexus and get one of these. Well, you fit about eight people, seven people, you know? So what else? Why don't you tell us a little bit about this car? How do you feel about it? Does it drive? Is it fast? Is it slow? Does it spin? Does it go? You know, it's all right. Still miss my Lexus, but if I was a dad, yeah, I guess I would have one of these because that feels uh, very roomy. And I would put a mattress in the back so I could sleep in this thing instead of have kids in it. It's pretty fast for a V6, huh?